guys, this is Sarah from sarahdesign.com and today I want to show you how you can install a font to use in Silhouette Studio. So I opened up Silhouette and I had typed in the word hello and I didn't really like my options available to me in the font style window. If I double click and highlight the word hello and I go over into the right column where it says text style I can see all my options for fonts in here and I can click through a body, Adobe Fang Song, Alex Brush. Not really happy with any of these. So I had downloaded some fonts earlier and I'm going to install one of those, which looks really, really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and save my file because the process of installing a font requires you to restart Silhouette. So I'll save as. We'll just save this to my desktop, call it hello, and hit OK. There we go, now I'm going to close Silhouette. Alright, so go ahead and navigate to your newly downloaded font folder, and you're going to find the .otf file and double click on that. That pops open a little dialog box to show you a little preview of what Caraca looks like. And in the bottom right it says install font. Click on that. And then your font book automatically opens and shows you that Caraca has been added. You can close your font book by clicking in the upper left corner on the red X. Now on your desktop, double click that hello file that you created earlier. Once that's opened, you can click on your word hello and we'll go over into text style. We can type in C A R. And then it pops down the list to where Caraca is. I'll click to select that. And it has been applied. And I can click off to deselect. Make this a little bigger so you can see. It's a cute font, right? So it's pretty easy. It's just the trick is that you have to restart Silhouette. That's a, uh, a problem that a lot of people run into is they download and install a font and they have Silhouette open the entire time. They're like, well, where is it? It didn't work. It's not installing. And they don't understand how to fix that. So now you know the trick. Hope this was helpful to you, and I'll see you in the next video.